This is stunning, by the way, isn't it? It is absolutely beautiful. So this is the Melrose Dove Grey, mixed with the Melrose Carbon. I can't wait to get using this kitchen as well. Um, should we do some food? Please. Right, so, should we do giblet stock? Let's do it. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. Here's our uh, saucepan here that we're gonna use for the giblet stock. Um, I've got just a couple of these regular little stock cubes. Um, okay. They're really, really nice. We need to put about a litre of kind of steaming hot water in there. So again, we can use this, can't we? Are you going to use the abode? Yeah, now this is a lovely bit of kit, isn't it? That's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. You can take those out and pop them on the side as a trivet as well, if that's helpful after. Oh, so even if I had something I needed to yeah. put somewhere, you could just absolutely. do that? Yeah, and if you've got them in over the sink and you just wanted to wash one pan, turn it upside down and drain it, fantastic for that as well. So useful, isn't it? So this is great because that's such a safe way of doing it, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. So we'll put that down there, we'll take the lid off. Uh, and what we'll do first of all is I'm just going to put that on a medium heat. So to do that, rest our finger gently on there. So we need a knife because we need to chop the onion to put into the giblet stock. And I love this. The knife block. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. I think what's fantastic about the um, drawer inserts by Blum is that they're fully customizable. Brilliant. So that, that's the onion in. Don't worry about chopping that finely. This is just for flavor. And then we just slide that drawer back to reveal yeah. The spice drawer. Absolutely fantastic. So it's really nice that you can see everything. Not trying to peer over in a wall unit over the spices, trying to see what you've got. They're all really clearly led out, read the labels. Finally, we need to put our uh, giblets in. And really, you should use them uh, because they have such a lot of flavour. What we're going to do with this is we're just going to bring this up to a higher temperature. So initially, I'm just going to slide that up to P, which is, you know, power boost. Yeah. That's so okay. this will get this hot very, very quickly. What I'm also going to do is set this little button here, which is what's called hob to hood. Yes. And the more steam we create, the faster the fan goes. So now that we've got our giblet stock going really nicely, I'm actually going to reduce the temperature of that down to quite a low heat. And then obviously our fan will reduce um, in its power as well. And what I'm going to do is put the lid on. It's always a good idea to cook with the lid on when you can, when things are on a low heat, because it's just more efficient. So what we'll do is we'll set the timer to an hour. Yeah. So after an hour, that will then, as we know, turn itself off. off. I have noticed I've got a bit of food waste here, and I know there's something pretty cool yeah, that you've got. Yeah, you've got um, one of our integrated bins just in that unit there. You can customise it to what you'd like to use it for, but general and recycling. So I think for me, yeah, I think what I would do then is this one bin I would have, that's my food uh, re food waste there. Yeah. And then I would just have the general bin there, but you can make your own choice, of can't course, you? Of course, of course. Carefully, I'm going to lift up the baking tray and as carefully as you can, just start to pop all those beautiful, beautiful turkey juices in there. And the reason I'm doing this is because there will be an element of fat in there and we don't want all of that. Yeah. We want a little bit for flavour. The fat, you can see it's already oh, yeah. separating. And it's such a simple thing yeah. to do. Yeah. It's really, really easy. Um, and all we need is a, just a little bowl. So all we need to do now, you simply spoon this off and just um, discard that. You can actually let that solidify okay. and then you can pop that into your food waste bin. Now you don't have to get all of the fat out. If there's a little bit in there, that would be lovely because that's extra flavour. So if I just move the turkey juices out of the way, slide that forwards and then I'm going to turn the hob on and I'm actually going to do something called bridge function, which means if I just put this on here, I'm linking two zones together. Yeah. And I'm going to set that on, say, uh, a lowish heat at first, say number three. Mm -hmm. I'm now going to pour in some of the concentrated turkey juices here. Get the heat up a little bit on this. So we've got a bit of a medium heat to get this going. I need a whisk straight back into my lovely drawer here. Everything to hand. Yeah, it's so good. We love that. Sit that there for a moment. So I just want to get this to start, start to bubble up a little bit. So get the heat up a bit, a bit. And there you go, straight away. If I turn that down a little bit, uh, I'm going to get a couple of, on well, my little measuring spoons, 
This is just regular flour. Right. That's all this is, nothing flash. You don't need corn flour for this because we're making it uh, the proper way. Uh, <laughs> Just going to spread that over there. You want a good kind of two or three, maybe three and a half um, tablespoons of flour there. With our whisk, we start to incorporate that flour into those lovely turkey juices. This is a key kind of part of this. Mm. We need to cook this flour out for at least two minutes. Okay. And then a good glug of white wine in there. Because all we need to do now is add our giblet stock into it. Okay. Now you can do one of two things. You can actually strain the giblet stock into a bowl and then put the stock back into here and then put it in. Mm. But I've got a little lid that's got like a little strainer built in. Yeah. So all I need to do now is little by little, I'm just gonna add my giblet stock in there until you've got as much gravy as you want. So basically, you're, you're, you've, you've got like a kind of tailor-made solution depending yeah, 100%. on your circumstances. Yeah, we've got hundreds of different cabinets, so we can do things that suit you most, whether it's more drawers, whether it's more cupboards, more larders. I mean, just next to you, I'm sure you'll be able to show us. What's that one, this one? Yeah, we've got the Intivo storage. Ooh. Okay, yeah. you can have that in a small kitchen. That's something special. Wow, that's lovely. Yeah. Really nice, because you can get so much in there. We need to um, do a little season and taste of this. So I'm going to taste it first, a little spoon. Oh, that's good. Is it good? You're going to like that. Okay. Uh, tiny bit of seasoning on that. Last little bit, and then I'd like you to taste it, to see what you think. So I'll quickly just pop that in there. Now, if you just have a little taste of that, and yeah. tell me what you think. That's actually really, really good. It's just brilliant, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's really nice. I mean, when you, when you have um, a turkey as good as this, you're going to get a fabulous gravy from it, as long as what you do is make sure that you keep all those lovely turkey juices. So look at that. Whoa. Mm. That is just delicious.